Hey, it's Junior, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use a projector to display my design and my image onto a wall whenever I'm doing the mural. So first and foremost, you're gonna have to get a projector. Just get a projector that's above 8,000 lumens and you'll be set. I bought this projector on Amazon about three years ago for about 100 bucks and it's been great. I am pointing to a tripod stand holder, which has helped me out so much because if you don't have that, you're gonna have to hold it against something and sometimes you just don't have something to hold it against them. And what I'm doing here is adjusting it to the height of the wall and having it centered. You don't want it too high or too low. Get yourself some extension cords. They're gonna come in handy in your art career, in your projects and whatever you do, but especially when you're using a projector. And of course, you're gonna want it as dark as possible. When you're using a projector, you're gonna encounter sometimes that the projector doesn't reach your full height of the wall. And what you're gonna have to do is kind of just adjust to it. And if you're an artist, you're gonna find your way around that and it just comes with the deal. Sometimes you just, it doesn't reach the whole entire wall. You're just gonna have to figure it out. Here we go. This is when you start doing your design and you just going at it and just taking it one line at a time. So when I'm doing this, I am doing this as fast as I possibly can, but efficiently as well. And what tends to happen is that sometimes the projector slightly moves or you're dealing with a time crunch issue. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing the outline here and it is actually three o'clock in the morning. I don't suggest anyone to do that, but because as you can see to the right, the sun was just about to come up, I had to do it in a timely fashion because if I didn't, the projection would not have shown with daylight coming into the room. As you can see, I am losing my projection minute by minute. And when you're completely done with it, this is what you do. You just assess the whole entire mural. You see what lines you've missed, any design features you missed. And when you feel like you did a good job at assessing the whole thing, do it one more time just in case and see how good of a job you did. So I made it just in time before the sunrise and I am completely done with the outline and that's that that's how you project your image or your design onto a wall to create a mural most of the time when i'm doing murals i use a projector if i can't use a projector because of the space or whatever it may be i may have to use some type of a grid and there are different types of grid that you can use and i'll get to that in one of my other videos but for this one i use a projector and the projector in my opinion is the best choice because you can move a lot quicker and you can get precise lines so that you can get the exact design and your exact details just as you want it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned with all my other process videos.